One of the issues with BMW N20 engines is the high pressure fuel pump. Today, we're gonna to be putting a new one in into my BMW Z4, which has the N20 engine. The first step is to take off the cover. And the sound insulation. Now we have full access to the fuel pump. It's just right here. But before you do anything inside the engine bay, especially dealing with fuel, make sure you disconnect the battery. Done. To remove the actual fuel pump, we're gonna loosen these nuts over here using a 17 millimeter wrench. I'm gonna put a rag under here to catch all of the gas that's gonna come out. You wanna loosen the top one first. That way all the gas from here will come out. Catch as much as you can. Now we can take off the other one. This is the one coming from the low pressure fuel pump. as much gas as you can one more time remove the plug now we can take off two screws you're gonna need a t30 you need a t30 uh, socket like this Now that the screws are loose, now that the screws are loose, we can simply take it out. Okay. Our pressure fuel pump removed. Now it is very, very important that uh, the camshaft for the fuel pump is in the bottom dead center. If it's not, and you put your new high pressure fuel pump in, it will break the actual will break the rod over here like right there inside it will break think since it's not going to be in the proper position it will push it up and break the inner part of the high pressure fuel pump so it's very important that you crank the engine into the bottom that center i'm going to do that now and you can tell if it's at the bottom that center by looking inside once it goes all the way to the bottom and you keep cranking it starts coming back up that's when you want to back up just a tiny bit so that it stays at the very bottom you should also feel a little bit of compression as you're cranking the engine right at that point so this should be the bottom that center it's as far down as it can possibly go very very important you also want to replace the gasket for the fuel pump so there's no leaks now do you have the new one we just put it in place want to watch out for any of the wires anything else okay want to kind of hand tight okay this is good so we're good at that point lined up as well now we can put the bolts back in we're gonna go by hand first just so it's in place all right it's hand tight you must use a torque wrench for this job uh, the high pressure fuel pump tightens to about 12 newton meters, which is about 8.8 .8 pound feet of torque. Uh, the reason it's very important is if you over tighten the fuel pump, this will happen. As you can see, this entire plunger part broke 
it just broke off so now it becomes useless so all the money you spend on your brand new fuel pump is trash don't make this mistake get a torque wrench they're about 10 to 20 bucks at harbor freight or 20 bucks on amazon and probably a little better quality now i'm gonna set my torque wrench to about eight and a half pound feet of torque so i'm at five now six seven eight and that's about a 0.8 tighten it confirm that it didn't move so good and now we're gonna go at 90 degrees on each side and then switch from bolt to bolt 90 90 and just keep going until we get to the torque specs That's it, it clicked. That's it, it clicked as well. Done. Now we just plug in the connector. Make sure it's nice tight in there, it doesn't come out. Perfect. Now we're gonna hand tight these nuts for the fuel lines. That should go to torque, but I don't have a tool that would measure torque while using a wrench. You can get, uh, I think they both, I believe they're called duck feet uh, wrenches, and those will do it for you. But I just go hand tight, uh, and then just a little bit more until I feel like it's all good. That should be enough. Grab your rag, wipe everything off, make sure there's no, no gas left in there. And then just put the stuff back on. So I'm just gonna put the insulate, noise insulation on. And finally the cover. And all done. Don't let the dealer charge you over a thousand bucks for something you can do in under 10 minutes. Let's go start the car now. Of course, before we start the car, we have to reconnect the battery. Put the terminal back on. Don't go too tight. I have broken these bolts before. It literally doesn't take much. It doesn't move. Good. Now the power is back on in the car. So we wanna prime the system, the fuel system. So we're just gonna press on the start button. Give it a sec again. This should start priming the fuel for the engine. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear the low pressure fuel pump running. Okay, let's try to start the car now. I no longer hear any clicking noise from the high pressure fuel pump. It runs well. I'm gonna go take it for a drive, try a couple starts and restarts, make sure everything's good, check for leaks after. Obviously, I'm gonna check for leaks before I leave, but that's about it. That's all it takes to change the high pressure fuel pump. Don't get scammed by shops and dealers, you know, asking for over a thousand bucks to do this. The brand new Bosch. Uh, High pressure fuel pump only cost me 130 bucks and it took 10 minutes to do it. So why spend over a thousand dollars? Subscribe, like if you guys are into this type of content and I'll see you in the next one. The car feels a lot more responsive. Of course I can't film and change gears at the same time, but when you give those like throttle blips, you know, it just feels much quicker much faster to rev love it but the main reason i replaced the high pressure fuel pump was to remove hesitation when you start the car 
even after uh, programming the injectors video below uh, it definitely made a huge difference but it wasn't perfect now it starts right away there is absolutely no hesitation which is exactly what I was looking for